Hey there, budgeting friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Stephanie with Aloha Dope. And today I'm gonna to be going over my paycheck with you from January 4th to January 17th. So the first part is just going to be my bills and the bills do get paid um, as soon as I get paid. So um, I already count that money out. It doesn't get budgeted uh, towards my expenses or sinking funds. So this month, rent will be getting $740. Next goes into where I pay my debt. So Costco will be getting $100. Best Buy is getting $32. Amazon will be getting $40. BECU 50 and Navy Federal 62. If you guys haven't noticed that in my last two um, videos, I don't have anything for my debt snowball and that's because I'm getting one extra paycheck in January. And what I mean by one extra paycheck, it's I'm ahead of my bills. So I have this kind of paycheck where I can either just be a month ahead of my bills or I'm gonna put that towards paying off my debt, which I'm gonna be putting towards debt, obviously. Um, just because as much as I'd like to be ahead of my bill, sometimes like it just doesn't work out for me, if, if that makes any sense. Um, and then my American Express card, that's where my monthly subscriptions come out of, so this portion would be 26 for this month. Car insurance is 127. My gas is 7148. And then I did get my electricity bill. It's actually about $42. So that one was really, really good to see that it went down this month. Um, and then water will be getting $43.87. And then I'm putting $26.13 into savings because every month I put $70 aside. Um, so I took $70 from this paycheck. Um, minus that by the bill total, I guess, and then left me over with 2613. So that goes into my savings. And then as per usual, my car payment and childcare is uh, blocked out for personal reasons. All right, so for monthly expenses, we're gonna be doing groceries, still gonna be at $200, but it's gonna be a little bit different because I do have a $100 gift card um, to my grocery store, so I only pulled out 100 in cash and then the 100 on my gift card is what I'll be using. My gas is still going to be $80. Vape slash spending is 60, and then my household will be getting 20. So 360 for expenses. And after this month, I'll be reworking my budget um, to see how, if I need to be making any changes towards, you know, groceries or household. Okay, and then my sinking funds, car maintenance will be getting $10. Clothes for the kids gets 17. Clothes for me, eight. Christmas for this year. Ooh, happy new year, guys. I just realized this is my first uh, Cash envelope stuffing video for the new year. Christmas gets 17. Birthdays for my kiddos get 17. Traveling will be getting 25 and I'm hoping to put that travel envelope to use this year soon. Back to school for the kids will be $7. Um, I pre-wrote this and I will have to be whiting that out, but um, we are getting rid of that envelope. And I guess that will be another video for another day. Car registration gets, hold on, what did I put last one? $3. And then toiletries and makeup, I think that gets nine. Yep, so that is $9. All right. Uh, sinking funds will probably also change here shortly, but like I said, I have to just rework my budget still. Um, so for February, I'll probably have a newish budget for my cash envelopes. All right, let's get to cash envelope stuffing. Okay, so groceries first, $100 gift card to my groceries, and then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 
We'll also be going in there. All right, so gas. Guys, I'm doing pretty good. I got $10, that's going into my savings. And we are getting $80. All right, so vape, it looks like we didn't spend, so I'm not gonna fund it. I'm actually gonna keep that and then just put my $60 towards savings. So 20, 40, 60, and then let's see, household will be getting 20. Okay, so my expenses are done. Now we're gonna work into this year's sinking funds. So car maintenance is getting 10. And I'm gonna be needing an oil change soon, so probably in the next month or so. But like I said, I still have a free one left, so I'm not gonna be touching that. Kids clothes is getting 17. I need to straighten these dollars out. for me a big whopping eight dollars and I'm always still hesitant on spending it one of these days one of these days I will spend it and I will buy myself clothes and I will let you guys know when that happens actually I want to know how much I have 20 40 50 5 60 61 60 61 60, 64 perfect I actually think I'm gonna be able to buy some shoes for work. Okay. And then Christmas is 17. So we are going to be ready for this year's Christmas. It'll be nice. Guys, prepare. Always prepare ahead of time. It makes life so much easier. Okay, and then kids' birthdays, 17, which is coming up very shortly. I haven't really just like thought about what we're gonna be doing for their birthdays yet, so. But they're literally like a month apart. My son's birthday is a month before my daughter's birthday, so uh, that is always a stressful time period. Okay, back to school for the kids gets seven. Okay, travel for me is 25. And I've been looking at airlines and airplane tickets to go back home and they went up from <laughs> when I checked last time and it's just like ridiculously expensive to fly round trip with three people for three people it's like uh, okay three dollars for car registration I'm thinking about maybe just doing a drive down and buying hotels, so I don't know what would be cheaper, but I'll have to look into it now that the prices went up. Okay, makeup and boxy charm. Makeup and boxy charm, no, sorry. Totally trees and makeup, we'll get $9. And I did spend $2 out of it last time to buy, um, what did I buy? That was $2. 
for the, oh, um, I bought, um, what is that? Like those little cotton face wipes for my face from Target because like I was running out of them and it was like two bucks, so. Or three dollars, whatever. I don't know how much I had. All right, so my cash envelopes for sinking funds. Ooh wee, that is thick. Ooh, I'm gonna have to exchange those bills out. All right, guys, sinking funds is now stuffed. Oh, I don't know if you guys just saw that, but the clip just flew off and flew across my table. <laughs> so these ex uh, sinking funds are stuffed, expenses are stuffed, and we are ready to go and budget for the new year. So I can't wait to see how this all works out and if I can still keep within the um, normal budgeting. All right, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. Hit that like, share, subscribe button, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys next time. And let's have a awesome new year. Bye.